Dutch bushcraft knives. What up? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Dutch bushcraft knives. Dutch bushcraft knives. A classic question time knife talk video. Knife talk. Q and A. What Q is up? Stay tuned because we'll be giving away these two knives in this video. We we'll talk about that more later. But first, our favorite knife. <laughs> My favorite knife people at this moment, yeah. Uh, I've always talked a lot about the Fognieven A1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I still really like it, but it had some problems lately. It's all fixed now. But uh, yeah, my new, or new, yeah. my favorite knife of all time, my most versatile knife, it is the Bark River Aurora. Ah, and I'm actually jealous of this knife. And why is it so good, Martin? Well, first of all, it has CPM 3V. Yeah, is uh, that a good steel? This is at the moment my most favorite steel. Just, just this steel from Bark River just seems to have such an amazing edge retention. Yep. And together with that, with that very high toughness, yeah. it just doesn't really dull. No, it I doesn't don't. really get edge problems. I, I, Do you know? Although on paper this steel might not be the most fancy, it performs like a beast. We had a lot of knives previous to uh, this knife, or previous to this steel actually. But when we tried this steel, Suddenly, we were just so impressed with a whole world of uh, possibilities open yeah. for us. And you saw it in the Milani Capuco video. Yeah. Uh, we did some rope cutting with this, and it, it just held up great. It just held up great. Link! So, what else is good about this, this yeah. knife? This knife? Yeah. I would say it's a medium sized knife. Yeah. And uh, b because it's still pretty thin, yeah. it still has the weight and the control of a uh, smaller knife. Yeah. But that little bit extra length just makes it much more excellent for batoning. And I don't know, the shape, it might seem a little bit like a spear, but um, yeah, it just makes this knife very, very versatile. And the handle, like all Bark River knives, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so what, what is your favorite knife? My favorite knife, I thought you would never ask. Your story is very, very boring. No, joking, man. You're my best friend, hold I would never say that. Look at this. My favorite knife, it's a Bark River, also a Bark River. Oh, and, and what's new? CPM 3V. <laughs> what's the name of this knife? This is the Bark River Gunny Scandi, not available for sale at the moment. So Bark River, if any, any of you guys are watching this video, yeah, please, please make sure that this knife will be made again because we get so much requests on our channel for this knife to be made again. And why do we get those requests? requests? It's because it's a bloody perfect knife. I love the handle. People, if you have ever hold, held something in your hand, you know, that's not dirty talk, that's not dirty talk. If you have ever held something in your hand, what felt nice, this will beat it, whatever it was. Anyway, yeah. it's got a Scandinavian grind mixed in with a convex grind, which is this. And that makes for some very good wood carving. You've got a fly on your nose, mate. <laughs> 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 got the shower and, uh, and uh, it makes for some very good wood carving and some very good control of course I would like a little bit more length but that's also the charm of this knife the extra control lately though I have had a new knife and it is called the Malanikapuko link this has got the some might say the superior steel to CPM 3V but it has got CPM 4V. Only thing is with this knife, Martin, it's the best wood carver I have ever seen or experienced yeah. or seen on the internet that I know of. Blah, blah, blah. But um, it is handmade, but I would not dare to, you know, use this for hard use. Not that and I of course, it's also harder to sharpen because is, of the extra hardness. Yeah, it's a very bloody hard knife. It is a very sad time for people who like uh, knives because Falk Neven has kind of up their knife prices or yep. at least is that that's what we see on the internet and we do not agree with that no we do not agree with that no 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 um, we very we like you know that that good combination between price value you know yep. you know what you get, uh, you, that you get no more. hablo agrimonto no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, at this point in time, I think Falk Neven has, you know, exceeded that limit and yep. I think you get too little for what you pay for. At this point in time, look at the date of this video, 
if somebody asks us, would you prefer Valkneven over uh, Bark River? No, we prefer Bark River over Valkneven because of its price at this point in time. Yeah. yeah? So All right. That might have changed already. So, next item. Next, the Q and A, Martin. By the way, people, have you checked out our Facebook and our Instagram and our Patreon? A lot of people ask us how we have, how we get all the money for buying these knives. But yeah. the truth of the matter is that we invest almost all our money that we have in knives. <laughs> so we are not rich guys. No. But um, almost all the money we make from this channel also goes back into this hobby yeah. lifestyle channel. And we're trying to, to grow as a channel, as uh, actually make DBK a brand, kind yeah. of. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if you like to support us, you can do it with with Patreon and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe in the future we're also working on merchandise. Yeah. So yeah. More of that coming up. Yeah. First question, Chakrian355, why doesn't the blonde dude have a girlfriend? Seems like a charming guy. That's me. Can you answer the question? Yeah. He just isn't that charming. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite knife under hundred dollars? Is it the Mora Garbuk under hundred dollars? I think one? so. If it is, that's the one. Uh, it still has a good competitor, Terev Yapuko from Finland. Uh, still a good competitor, but I still have to test it, so I can't say. Takashiru, if you could only buy one knife or so, axe, machete, etc., in your whole life, what would it be? For me, because I speak from experience and and. Nostalgic feelings. Yeah. I guess it would still be the A1. Yeah, really? Yeah, really. Yeah, but, but, but that is also very good because when you're stranded in nature, you want to uh, you want yeah, the knife. This, can, this, this knife can do it all. Hey, we got a good question over here. Odran Darcy. Hey, ha, dudes. Who can do more muscle ups? Let's get to the chase. How long ago was it that you did this for the last time? About a year, Vicky. Yeah, me too. What's your record of doing this? Your, your uh, 15, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Mine is 16. I, I haven't done it yet this year, so it might as well be four. Yeah. Let's get to work, mate. Whoa. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> you, st you still won, but hey, just by a little, I'm, by one, one. I'm the fat guy. Mr. Polarize asks, do you use a pocket knife in daily use? Hashtag, can you read this please for us? Hashtag characteristics. <laughs> yeah, we do actually use a pocket knife, yeah. mostly Victorinox, in yeah. my case. Uh, Victorinox, Opinel, stuff like that. Yeah. Higonokami. Um, Shadow Blaze Zervin asks, why did you start YouTube? Why did you start YouTube? Well, I actually started this channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, so why did I do it? Um, yeah, I want to become rich. <laughs> no. <laughs> and did it oh, work? No. no. <laughs> I'm poorer than ever. <laughs> but, uh, no, I watched uh, Virtual Vice. Yeah. He's a very kind guy. And, um, yeah, I really like this channel. And, uh, yeah, he really inspired me to also share my experience about knives just yeah. in, the, in that in that simple way he does it just talking about it uh, giving his own opinion about stuff yeah. and really, that, that's really, actually what really I wanted see, you really can see that in our channel nowadays yeah you know I wanted to do that but <laughs> it eventually evolved to uh, to this all right Mickey so armadillo merino the stuff you'll see us wear in almost every video yeah yeah so why do we wear it in yeah. the first uh, in the first place well a long time ago uh, a guy gave us two of these shirts, he with said... A guy with a lot of confidence yeah. in the in this clothing, I yeah. can tell you that, just trust he us. He said, I will give you this, try it, tell me what you tell me yeah. what you think, think about it. <laughs> I will say, we were instantly hooked. 
Yeah, why? Because these these shirts are not cheap. They are not yeah. cheap, but they are extremely comfortable to wear. Yeah, they are made for uh, for high wear resistance. They are made for extreme conditions, but also for daily wear. But also, but the funny thing is, extreme conditions. If we expand on that a, a little bit, extreme cold and extreme heat. Yeah, because. It they, doesn't. I mean, it has a hollow fiber which yeah. keeps you insulated. Yeah, and insulated. So, insulated. And, and when it gets wet, you also it doesn't feel cold on your skin. Like you don't even feel that it's yeah. uh, wet uh, in a certain degree. And it's antibacterial. Yeah. And most of all, very important for bushcraft, it is very fire resistant. Yeah, and smell so, resistant. Yeah. So <laughs> that's important for you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sparks won't burn holes in this. No. Let me give you a demonstration. I think that clearly gives the difference between yeah. a synthetic shirt and the armadillo on yeah. the merino wool. Yeah, so uh, right. very amazing. So uh, a link to these shirts in the description. Yeah. And why do we promote this product like this? Because first, we really enjoy it. We like yeah. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. A second, if you buy uh, the shirt from the link in the description, we also get a little bit of fee um, yeah, to support the channel. Yeah. So by buying armadillo merino, you support that's Bush of Knives. Yeah. And thank you very much for that. The giveaway, people. <laughs> the giveaway. What is a knife that we'll be giving away? It's it, this Wenger knife. And to be exactly, the Wenger Observer Custom. It's made out of 440C steel. Which is a, a pretty good stainless steel. Like a a mid-range steel. Good. A, a mid-range mid steel. steel. And it is probably one of the best knives for its price. Uh, yeah, Mo that, that is okay. most important. This knife comes in in a price around 70 euros. So this is a very robust, um, yeah, I think very well balanced knife for its and price. I, and I've done a little bit of bushcrafting with mine. I've sharpened mine by hand. Yeah, so the one who wins this, this is sharpened by Dutch bushcraft knife themselves. <laughs> um, I, have, I haven't actually used it a lot. I just sharpened it to get yeah. this uh, uh, convex grind on it. So it has the same grind as the Falkneven on it now. Yes. Kind of looks like one as well. Actually looks a little bit like the F1. Yeah. And but, um, um, we'll be giving away these two of these knives. knives. Yeah. yeah. So two winners. Let me just tell you, tell you guys what you what you got to do for this uh, knife, because it's going to be a little bit of a different giveaway than usual. This time, we'll actually be picking a winner. Yeah. We'll yeah be so picking it, won't, it, it ourselves. It won't be it won't be random. No. Nope. We'll, we will be picking a, a winner. So what you got to do for this knife is make a parody video of Dutch Pushkov knives. Yeah, you gotta make a video like us, Mickey B and Martin, and the one who makes the best video wins this knife. Gets to choose which one of this, uh, these well, knives they yeah. get, and the second place gets the other, other knife. And we will be choosing who is the winner. Please send the link, you gotta upload it to YouTube and send the link to uh, the email DBK giveaway at gmail.com. At gmail link in the description. Or to our Facebook page. Yeah. Link yeah. in the description. Link in the bloody description. Yeah. So yeah, it's a very cool knife for the price. Check it out. Please um, do, please participate on, at this giveaway. We would love to see your videos. Yeah. So when is the giveaway uh, active? You will have the chance to participate in the giveaway up to the end of April. I think that sums it all up, people. So thank you very much. Please check out Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. Patreon, and. Please participate in this giveaway and win this yeah. beautiful knife, people. Beautiful knife. We and thank you it. all for supporting our channel and hope you like our videos. See you next time in the most exciting episode of Dutch Bushcraft Nav. <laughs>